Good afternoon. Asylum seekers have been coming in and out of Albuquerque in bus loads for months. And after making a major arrangements to accommodate them, we're hardly seeing any stay here. The city says it's all due to changes made by the Trump administration. News 13's Rebecca Adkins is live at Expo New Mexico to explain. Yeah, Kim, in March, we toured the living quarters here at Expo New Mexico that had been set up for the asylum seekers. But ever since they were made available, um, not a single asylum seeker has actually been able to stay here. They have full showers, facilities, as well as restrooms. In April, Expo New Mexico took us on a tour of the 4-H dorms they had made available for asylum seekers. But four months later, they've yet to be used. Unfortunately, by the time that we were able to get the expo set up with our, our donations and bedding and everything that it needed, um, we were at, the numbers had slowed down so dramatically there was not a, a, a need for it. Mariela Ruiz Angel with the city's Immigrant and Refugee Affairs Office says it all has to do with what has happened in the White House. Since the Remain in Mexico uh, program went into effect um, in probably early May, it had transitioned into the border of El Paso and so at that time we began to see less and less individuals, asylum seekers, coming through Albuquerque. There were so many asylum seekers coming to Albuquerque earlier in the year, the city council approved $250,000 in funding for housing, feeding, and caring for them. And that money will go to nonprofit agencies that are already doing the work. That money has also barely been touched. It's been set aside as needed. Um, we do we did hire a coordinator, but it's been very, very, very small amounts that she's done. And it's mostly the coordination that my office would have been doing. For now, the city remains on standby along with all the groups waiting to help the asylum seekers. I believe that we are probably on a low right now that will not open up until we see some changes from the administration. Um, side, unfortunately. Now, Expo New Mexico does not get any of the city's money that's been set aside. They currently couldn't house any asylum seekers until after the state fair is over. But once that has wrapped up, they said they're ready and able to take the asylum seekers if this current situation changes. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, the city says they are seeing some asylum seekers coming through the airports, but none of them are being housed here.